Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have the fighting Makanochi Ippo. So we have from Hajime, sorry, from Hajime no Ippo. <laughs> um, that uh, awesome uh, boxing manga and anime. Well, it was an anime, sad face. Hope they bring it back. So we're on the top half of our page. And we're going to start just here with the eyebrows. So, real square kind of eyebrows. So, like, let's see. So, like, a line like this, curved line like that. And then it ticks up to there. And then this kind of comes over the other side. And then we're going to wave it down, kind of bumping like so that and of course that's dark black inside but they have sort of just some lines on the end here like this kind of just like hair lines like that and then black like so and then so his eye then under there they're real circular kind of eyes they kind of come out like this first and then it kind of curves around so not we're not going for like realism in eyes here we're just curving it around like that circular kind of, <coughs> kind of cartoony kind of eyes <coughs> and then his pupil just a circle in here top is cut off by the eyebrow and we have a highlight just a section that's left white, just here. Like so. So the other eyebrow then, just over here. So we're gonna start it, say, like here. Pretty close to one another. We've got some of those lines like here as well. And then this is gonna just tick up like this, out to the other side, back up, and then we're going to bring it down to here, same as the other side. Like so, maybe some of those hairlines on the end, and dark black inside. Like this and we do an eye pretty much the same thing just just under here I think the eyes are eye distance apart nearly yeah you could probably fit another eye a bit more of another eye it's a bit more of a distance than the eye distance but just an eye and a tiny little bit over so this other eye is pretty much the same like so and then his iris half circle, top of it's kind of cut off by the eyebrow and a shine or a highlight just in here. Like so. And right, so his nose, easy peasy, just nostrils. So just like a nostril, I'll say here, and a nostril here. Like so and maybe like just a tiny little suggestion of the bottom of his nose, just there, like the tip of his nose, but not much. So he's a downturned mouth, real serious, like that. And a line just for his bottom lip, just here. And then his chin, right here. Like so. Just add some lines, a cheek lines just on the edge of his mouth, just here, kind of like that. Just like a little dash on the edge of his mouth. And then you can check your proportions. So that the nose should be halfway between the eyes and the chin. So this is your halfway point between here and here. 
this is like the same distance to about the middle of his eye, okay? And then his bottom lip line is the same distance to his nose. So his bottom lip line is halfway between his nose and his chin. So they're the proportions, okay? And of course his mouth then is in between those. So once you have that right, you can do the jaw coming up like so. Stops at about mouth level. Curve it up like this. So we're going to change direction at about the mouth level. So we're going to go up now. Up like so. All the way up to his ears, which come around here. So, and then an ear, curve it around, down to like there, this comes up, down to here. So the bottoms of the ears line up with, say, the nose, about, just a little bit above, maybe, and his top of his ears line up with his eyebrows, just there. So then we have bones and ligaments inside, so easiest way is always just the letter J. That's the easiest way to do the ears, but of course you can add more if you want. Lots of different ways to do ears. Every artist does it different, I think. Okay, so he's got um, sideburns. So sideburns just kind of stick out here to a point like that. And they have some lines going down into his head just here. And the other sideburn sticks out like up here, like that. And we may have some lines there. And then this is going to come around to his like spiky fringe, right? So it comes out like so. And then his fringe is going to come down right next to the eyebrow, over the eyebrow even, yeah. And then we come down more, and we keep going like this all the way around, like so. Like so. And then the rest of his hair is all real spiky coming out around. So we'll start from his ear. So we add these spikes like this. And we're going to go up now and around his head. So another one here. Like so. Keep going like this. And they kind of stick up in the middle, so they kind of they go around kind of like a clock, you know, the hands of a clock. So they they tick around like this. They change their direction as you go around. Of course, some of them are thin, some of them are thick. Yours doesn't have to be exactly like this. Hair moves, so if you have one like sticking off more or less than mine, that's okay. Just as long as you get the general shapes and you get this sort of direction of them going down and around his head. So, and then there's some behind his neck, so we threw his neck. So it comes down just from 
pretty close to his ears here. So wide neck. And some hair just back here. Okay, so that he's got a towel wrapped around his shoulders, so this kind of comes out like so. Down to like there. And it wraps around his shoulder, so it comes out from his ear then. Bumping out to here. Like that. Comes out the other side. That, this one's kind of sticking out a bit more. And the bottom of that, so comes in to about there. Curve it up and in like this. Goes in behind his arm, so his shoulder is like, say like here. And then the rest of the towel down like this and then it wraps back up like so in around to there and the other bit of the towel like so wraps around his arm comes around to here right so Let's see. So we can see, we'll do, we'll put in his torso. So like the line just coming down from the towel here, line, line for like his obliques and like his hips and his waist just here. And you've got a belt on, comes across like so. And his arm comes down here. And his arm comes down there. So we'll do sort of all the muscles in here before we do the arms down here. So where we start? We we'll start the collarbone. So like middle of his chest, just there, and the collarbones come out from it, like so. Go up towards the shoulder, like that, diagonal, like so. Up that way. And then we have some more sort of chest muscle lines here. Maybe another muscle line or two there. So then the middle line for his chest is going to keep going down here. And it's going to meet like a diamond, which shows where his abdominal muscles will start and his chest will stop. So his chest is going to go across here, like that, and then this is going to come across like there, and then we'll bring it up, and then we meet like his shoulder which comes down to there, and his sort of bicep, that's his arm there, it's kind of curves across. And then we have sort of another couple of chest muscle lines, like here. The other side of his collarbone. Shoulder muscle goes up there. And then a chest muscle line that comes across like so. Sort of the fibers of his chest. Like there. Right, then his abs. So coming down the center, two real square sort of abdominals, so comes out this side like that, comes across to there, same on this side, comes out and down, back across and up, and then a bit of a diamond here as well, next abdominal layer. This comes down real square like so and then we have 
those obliques. So the all those curved lines that show the muscles of it on his ribs that are hyper developed from doing all those crunches that he does. There, another one here, and a couple more like here, and maybe one more there. And we do this over here as well. So his chest goes under the towel, and curve line there, curve line here. Okay, so his arms, so coming out from this towel, we can just see the bottom of his shoulder. So his shoulder lines up with his chest. So if your towel was a bit longer or shorter, just make sure you get the shoulder part in line with the chest. And then his tricep is gonna come down here, like so. This stops just at his waistband. And then his elbow sticks out like this. And then this comes down for his forearm. His bicep's gonna curve into there. And we should have another bicep line just here. Like that. And then this comes down and then comes out for his forearm. And then some of those lines for the inner arm, just there. And a line maybe for the top of his bicep. <clears throat> and then so the other arm, so again, shoulder in line with his chest here, just about the middle of his chest. That's where his tricep and shoulder meet. So that's where that's gonna start. This comes out, comes in. So it's about in line maybe with his, the middle of his abs there on that side. It's kind of a bit higher up. And then his elbow. And then his forearm comes down like so. And his bicep on this side curves in like that. In line there. This comes out for his forearm like so. And then we have some more of those lines for the inner arm. That comes up there. And then maybe a bicep line kind of like this, just going the opposite direction. So like comes down here. Like so. Mm -hmm. Could have some sort of fold lines on this towel kind of going around his shoulder, you know? And his waistband, so comes down to here. So it comes down like so, and then And we see the bottom of it, it kind of comes down this way. Can't really see the bottom, and we can just see the start of his shorts just there. And we have Epo in a rectangle right here. So, That and then capital letters EPO.
And that's pretty much it. How to draw Ippo. Makanochi Ippo. Ippo? <laughs> Makanochi. Try that again. Boop. And there you go. How to draw Makanochi Ippo from Hajime no Ippo. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it was helpful. And I'll see you in the next one.